Hello everyone. In this session, let us understand about the risk architecture in detail. You know that the risk stands for reduced instruction set computer. But before that, let us have a look at the processor that we are using concurrently. We may be using either i3 or i5 or i7. i9 is already in the progress. We may use i9 shortly. If it is an older processor, it does belong to Intel Pentium series. If it is even more older, it, be, it, it belongs to Celeron series. If it is even more older, it just um, belongs to 8086 family. Your processor could be one of these processors, right? Let us take any processor, either it could be i3, i7, or i9, or at least 8086. The machine language instructions that are supported by all these processors are anywhere in between 200 to 900. What is this number? These are the number of machine language that are supported by a typical processor, by any of these processors. If at all a processor has to support these many instructions, the complexity would be definitely more. What do you mean by the complexity? When a processor has to support an instruction, our control unit must be equipped with the corresponding routine. You know that the control unit is going to execute a routine every time when a machine language instruction gets executed. If, it, if these are 200 instructions, in addition to the special uh, routines, the control unit must be equipped with the 200 opcode routines. Control unit is a collection of two different kinds of a routines, once again. One is opcode routines, and second one is subroutines or supporting routines. When your processor is set to be supporting 200 opcodes, then your control unit must be able to support all these 200 instructions by 200 opcode routines. This number gets increased, the number of routines gets increased as the number of Instructions gets increased. Similarly, supporting routines also gets increased. So the control unit size will be bigger. It becomes bigger and bigger, bigger, as long as the number of machine language instructions are more. So the complexity will be higher. The control unit must be as flexible as it is to support these number of machine language instructions. Now, every time when an instruction is getting executed, we may require to access main memory. This access to the main memory tend to be time consuming. You know that if an operand is already available in a processor's register, accessing this operand doesn't take any time at all. But at the same time, if we have to access the operand from the main memory, obviously it is going to consume a lot of time. So most of the instructions may require some memory operands. At that time, memory access is inevitable. You can't stop memory access at all. So obviously the complexity will be more. Every time when you have to access a main memory, obviously it is going to kill some time. Finally, somehow or the other, your instruction gets executed. Looking at all these things, in 1980s, the computer system designers suggested a simple processor which is called RISC. It is an acronym for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. If a processor has to support only a simple application, then RISC is useful. In the Reduced Instruction Set Computer, the number of machine language instructions are very less, typically from 15 to 25, that's it. What is the difference? Where is 200 to 900 and where is 15 to 25? Obviously, the number of opcodes are very less. Obviously, our control unit size is very less. The number of um, the routines that are supported by the control unit are very less, right? So the complexity is reduced. And risk doesn't allow the manipulation of the operands within the main memory. Risk always warns the contents of an operand within a processor's register. 
so in order to execute an instruction unlike cisc risk doesn't take much time at all because the operand is already available in the main memory you don't need to go to main memory every time memory access will be reduced to as minimum as possible memory access will be lowered to as minimal as possible because the operand is already available in the processor's register okay so but this risk also has some drawbacks when you involve a risk processor in your system you need to ensure that your computer system doesn't uh, go for much usage your computer system does only can support a few application in the next session we're going to understand the characteristics of risk and cisc thank you